That's the largest locomotive ever built, so it's something to see. It'll be something to see when it's when it comes back to life. Train enthusiast Ed drove all the way out from Phoenix, Arizona, just to get a glimpse of the big boy 4014. The antique locomotive is on display in Las Vegas for one day as it makes its way cross country to the place it calls home. And we are on a 12 day journey home to Cheyenne, Wyoming, where we're going to take this locomotive, one of 25 that were built back in the early 40s to mid 40s. There were two classes built and we're going to restore it to full operation. Heritage Operations Senior Manager Ed Dickens and his crew are engineering the trip. Dickens says the big boy was the most technologically advanced steam locomotive of its time. They were looking for a locomotive that could do the work of two locomotives. Just like today, railroads are always looking for efficiency and they want to pull more cars with more locomotives and more power. It was one of the last locomotive designs that they designed before we changed to diesel electric locomotives. From the outside, you see the sheer size and power of the vintage train. The big boys were 132 feet long and weighed 1.2 million pounds. But from the inside, you get a better idea of just how treacherous it was to run it. The safety gear that you see me wearing now is required to be inside the cab. You wouldn't have seen them wearing it back in the 1940s, but today you have to because this is a dangerous place to be. This is where they operated the locomotive. Always to the right, you had the engineer. He drove the locomotive and he pulled the steam whistle. Always to the left, you have the fireman, and his job was to make sure the firebox, which you see here, was full of coal and burning hot. Every three hours, you were looking for 28 tons of coal and 25,000 gallons of water. And when the locomotives would reach the end of their run, they would go into a roundhouse, a terminal, where they would be serviced, where they'd replenish the coal and water, fill the sandboxes, fill the lubricators, grease the side rods, and conduct various inspections on the locomotive. Dickens says when you look back on American history, you'll see that steam locomotives helped to build it. And he says it doesn't get any more distinguished than the big boy 4014. This particular class of the last 30 years, it has been the most frequently asked question that our staff and those that worked before us have been asked. When will the Union Pacific restore a big boy? So the opportunity is right for us to restore one. So here we come. So the big boy is going to be on display for the entire day. It leaves tomorrow morning. That's Thursday at around 730. Anyone can come down and check it out. It's at the Union Pacific Rail Yard right off of Charleston and Grand Central Parkway. Michelle Velez, News 3.